Hey guys, Claudius here. What I really like about Final Fantasy Brave XVS is the fact that you do not really need to have a fully decked out OP units to clear any particular trials. You know, there are many ways to roam. In fact, in this game, there are units that max at 5 star that can still fit into a whale team composition. So here's my list of the 5 star max units with OP abilities that you would want to level up. I have Sarah, a 3 star base unit at number 5 due to her retreat command ability. It allows your entire team to avoid one physical attack for two turns. So this skill is very going to be very useful if there's going to be an incoming AoE physical and AoE magic attack on the same turn. Because you cannot activate AoE physical cover and AoE magic cover on the same turn. So you can only activate one or the other, you know, such as a battle against Elnath. On phase three, Elnath is going to cast AoE physical attack as well as AoE magic attack so you'd want to avoid both of them and you can use Sarah you can avoid getting hit by the physical attack and you can use your magic tank to cover for the magic attack so this is going to be a very handy skill there are two other characters that have the same ability Illusionist Nicole and Toby Illusionist Nicole is a limited time unit 4 star base and Toby is a 3 star base limited time unit as well and their skills are locked between locked behind their limit burst so you need to get a limit burst you cannot use it on demand but they can negate two physical damage taken aoe so they, theirs are better but it's still locked behind limit burst so there you go you have sarah at number five with retreat command and yes I have Liquid Metal Slime at number 4. It is a 4 star base unit and it is limit time unit. This is one of the best budget tank. It is budget in terms of rarity, it's a 4 star base. And in terms of equipments, you do not really need to equip it with TMRs to make it really strong. Let's take a look at the stats here. HP 600, very low, MP 50, attack 100. Defense 999, Magic 300, and Spirit 500. Just look at the defensive stats and Spirit stats there. 999 and 500 Spirit stats. What happened here is that when you have a Defense or a Spirit buff on your team from your buffer, they will buff up based on the base stats. So the buff will take into account the defensive stats of 999 and a spirit of 500. So if you have a 100% defensive buff, you'll get an additional 999 in defense. So that is really, really huge, guys. So even if this unit has very, very low HP, the sheer number for defense and spirit stats is good enough to make this into one of the best provoke tank. And in addition to it, it also has a physical and magic resistance, 80%. So yeah, they have an 80% physical and magic resistance. And those two physical and magic resistances can stack with the general damage mitigation, as well as a physical mitigation from pot 153. So you can have extra, extra resistance and make it even sturdier. And also, it is already enhanced, Metal Body plus 2, it increased Attack, Defense, Magic, and Spirit by 3%, that's the base stats, so you add 3% more for Defense and Spirit, very very high, also gives you Physical Evasion by 3%, increase Resistance to all elements by 50%, so you're going to be more resilient as a Magic Provoke tank, Single Target Magic. And also increase limit burst gauge 5 per turn. So that's if you enhance metal body plus 2. And let's take a look at the limit burst is metal protector. It will increase all 6 elements by 100% for 3 turns to caster. And it increases chance of being targeted by 100% for 3 turns to caster. So basically, the metal slime can only equip 3, well, 2 accessories. 
if you play around with accessories, you can make it into 100% Pro Tank by equipping with a gauntlet that will allow it to equip Light Shield, like Moogle Plushy, can draw attacks 30% and equip with Golem. This Liquid Metal Slime can have 100% Provoke. But even if you don't have those equipments, you can still rely on its Limit Burst Metal Protector to become a 100% Provoke unit. And you can provoke every 2 turns using its Limit Burst because of the Melbody plus 2. So yes, this is literally the best budget tank you can have. All it does is just gonna be tanking and tanking and tanking if that's what you'll need. I know it's probably gonna fall off a little bit in the 7 star melee because the 7 star unit can defend better and do other stuff. But right now, it's still one of the best guys. Let's see how Liquid Metal Slime handles Igaion's left arm attack here. It tickles. And next, I have the 3 star base Timothy and Min. So these fairy siblings occupy the third position because of their break skills. Basically, they can do a single target 50% break for any single stats, any particular stats, attack, defense, magic, or spirit. And 50% right now is pretty, pretty good. I know like their opportunity kind of dropped down a bit because of the recent units, CG lit, and recent ability awakenings. With Melodol awakening, Melodol can break defense and spirit by 50% at once, and Melodol can also break attack and magic by 50% at once. So they are probably not going to be as useful as they were before the most recent ability awakening, but they are still good. Their limit burst is literally is still the second best limit burst in terms of breaking, lose out only to CG lit. They can have a 59% attack, defense, magic, and spirit break, and CG lit can do 70%, so that's a lot more, but yeah. You can use them on exploration, while you bring them on exploration, trial you gather their limit burst and when you fight the boss you can break them at a 59% rate and try to OTK the boss but they are definitely gonna lose out their position here when the 7 star era comes in and yes I have Rosa here as the first runner up but she's actually gonna be the only unit that can still have a place even in the 7 star meta. But right now, pre-7 star meta, she is only gonna take second place here. And what makes her good right now here is the fact that she has a skill to recover both HP and MP, Enhanced Blast plus 2. She can heal HP and MP like 20 MP per turn, 0.4 times modifier, and heal HP, 1725 HP with 12 times modifier. That is actually a better than Kyura Ga skill, HP recovery. You know, right now we have Bards that can do that. In the future, we can have CG Nicole that can do that. But she's a four-star base, and even at the current rate, that the Blessed Plus Two is still very useful. And next, let's take a look at her limit burst. This is actually what makes her really, 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 really good right now and in the 7 star meta. Right now, she can recover HP by 79% and MP by 39% to all allies. Yes, guys, she heals MP by percentage. And in the 7 star meta, the 7 star units, they can triple cast, they can pot cast, and they are gonna be an MP hogger. So they will need a lot of, a lot, a lot, and a lot of MP to use their skills. And Rosa can help them by healing their MP percentage wise. I know we have White Witch, White Witch Fina that can heal, recover MP by 25%, but White Witch Fina cannot really recover her own MP, but Rosa can. And the fact that she can heal MP using her limit burst is another plus point because, you know, there are enemies that will osmose your team from the MP, including your MP healer. And other units, even like right now, 
Ace can recover MP, Yan can recover MP, we have Tailet, Ayaka that can recover MP too for your team, but they are using abilities and those skills use MP too, so if they have 0 MP, you cannot, you know, you're kind of uh, basically gonna be screwed. But with Rosa, since, since she's using her limit burst to heal MP, she doesn't need any MP to use the ability. Yes guys, so this is gonna be one of the best skill even in the future, 39%. Like right now, Dragon Lord with a cap result plus 2, it needs 150 MP to use. So basically you would need a 400 MP-ish Dragon Lord. By having your Dragon Lord at 400 MP, and you can have your Rosa heal the MP of Dragon Lord every turn and your dragon lord will be able to use cav result plus 2 every turn and the limit burst from rosa only needs 14 lb gotch crystal and it is very possible to refill her lb gotch every turn right now over here dragon lord is doubting whether rosa can handle his cav result plus 2 but rosa assures him that she can handle him all day long Anytime he needs it, each turn, every turn. 160 MP recovery per turn. Rosa is a 5 star max unit and she only requires 14 limit burst crystals to use her limit burst. And with the current equipment we have, we can actually auto generate 14 limit burst crystals per turn, which means that Rosa can use her OP limit burst every turn, guys. So here are what you need. So you need to use an ability with a plus 2 limit burst gauge generation. So you have Sage of Mysidia, Tomb Raider, Pure White Blessing, Ayaka's TMR. There's also Dragon Lord's TMR which has a similar effect as Pure White Blessing. And then Ignorance. So ignorance, you can stack them. You can get 4 Ignorance and get 8 limit burst crystal per turn. For accessory, you can use Martial Glove. Invigorator, which is CG Lit's TMR, and Prodigy's Goggles, Kelsus TMR that you can get from the current raid. With these accessories, you can get up to 4 limit burst crystals per turn automatically, so that's a total of 12 limit burst crystal already per turn. You can equip a hat, Magical Top Hat, Illusions Nicole's TMR, that gives you 1 limit burst crystal per turn, and Nirvana Yuna's TMR that will give you 1 limit burst gosh per turn. So with this equipment, you can get 14 limit burst crystals every turn, and you can use Rosa's TMR, uh, use Rosa's limit burst each turn. Rosa is going to get her six star form in the future, and this is actually one of the reason that you need to consider whether you should upgrade her right away. If you have all these equipments, you probably don't want to awaken Rosa's Rosa to level. To six star right away because by doing that her limit burst will need more than just 14 limit burst crystal and right now at the max you can get is 14 limit burst crystals per turn yeah something to consider about and finally at the first position i have my personal favorite a three star base shantato you saw that rosa was already op and the reason why Shantoto wins is because she is Shantoto can support damage while Rosa support healing, survival ability. And you definitely need damage to be able to win the game, not by just defending. And she has this skill called Tornado, which is 12 chaining move. And she can dual cast that. And by dual casting and chaining Tornado, you can get up to 47 elemental chains. And when timed properly, your finisher can gain an additional 300% more damage, guys. So that is one of the reasons you need a damage dealer and you need to chain to get additional damage. That's why she's here. And the second reason is because she is one of the only two units in the game right now that can use Tornado. The other unit is Barbicia. And in the Chamber of Arms, you cannot bring duplicate. So no matter how many Barbricias you have, you have 2 or 3 Barbricias, you want to chain Tornado, you'll still need to bring in one 
Shantoto. You can only bring one Barbricia and one Shantoto as the chaining partner and you can chain elemental damage 47 at that. You have more room to miss your timing with the finishing move. Yeah, that's just how good she is. She is a really great support and with the right finisher you can even one turn kill or two turn kill the Chamber of Arm boss, the Elnath. Not Elnath, Alhina. Yeah, so she is here and that's the reason why she's number one. That's also the reason why she's gonna fall out of the of this list soon in the 7th star meter. Because at 7th star meter we are gonna get more and more units that can use tornado. And if you have unit at 7 star, they're gonna have more survivability and you do not need her anymore by then. So right now you can level up her up, you can still use her, and she's still very, very useful. I can OTK a lot of enemies using Shantoto alone. Two Shantotos. Okay, so Shantoto cannot feel at ease until she proves her usefulness as chainers. So here she goes showing off. So here is my list of the top 5 5 star max units that you can use right now. They are still OP. First we have Shantoto. You need her to chain with Barbisha on the Chamber of Arms. Even if you don't have Barbisha, you can still use her to chain and get a strong finisher friend. Rosa can be very useful even in the future, can heal a lot of MP. Team and Meme is still a good breaker, second best full breaker right now. Likamel Slime, if you need a provoke thing and you don't have the equipment, it is the best budget provoker right now. And Sarah, she's situational, but she has a very niche skill that can be very useful at times. So I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching guys. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe for more such content. Bye bye.